Hi, I'm Matt Pierce. We're here with a special episode of Screencast Camp Forge because they requested it. We're going to have Anton Bolin talking about tips and tricks that you can use to help you become a better screencaster, and then probably some just general tomfoolery. So get ready. We're on with the Forge. All right, as walking in right now, we're a little out of practice, is Anton Bolin. Welcome, Anton. Hi. So for those who have not had a chance to meet you, or they're not in Germany, so they probably don't know you, who are you and what do you do here at TechSmith? Hello, my name is Anton Bolin. I'm the German evangelist for TechSmith. That means I live in Germany, and I try to keep in touch with all of our German customers to see what they're doing, to learn from them. Nice. Nice. on. Having a little technical okay, difficulties with audio right now, so uh, how do we want to do this? This is a problem with doing a live show. We never had this many problems. We're not prepared. You want to talk into the mic? Does this work, Kyle? Does this work? Yeah. We'll keep going. All right. So yeah, uh, as I said before, my name is Anton Bollen. I live in Berlin, and uh, one of my roles is to really get in touch with the German customers to see what we can learn from them to help them become better screencasters. I also go to a lot of events where I represent TechSmith at trade shows and I create all of the German language training videos for the company. So one of the things that everyone should know about Anton is Anton has been at TechSmith for quite a long time considering how young he looks and he's been making screencasts for about 10 years, is that right? That is correct, yes. So over that process you've been able probably to learn a lot. I'd say so, I'd hope so. Okay, so you've come with some, some tips, let's, let's talk through these. So, so one of the things is, um, we hear a lot about is I hate my voice. What, what advice do you have for anyone making screencasts that has that problem? Get over it. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you think about it, you don't, you, the only reason you don't like your voice is because you're not familiar and you're not used to hearing your voice. To everybody else, you sound like you always do. So you're the only one who's making this awkward. So get over it, embrace, embrace your voice, and you can take this a step further. I, I have an accent. I can't hide that fact. I don't want to hide that fact. So. I, I'm actually quite happy that I that I can make English videos with a German accent. I think it gives them a, it makes them authentic. It gives them some character. People like it, and uh, I've actually had people recognize me at trade shows based on my voice. They come up to me and say, "Hey, I've seen your videos. You make the Jing videos for TechSmith, or you make the Camtasia videos." And that's really rewarding when you actually have that recognition just based on your voice. Yeah, I, I think a lot of people forget that the sound waves are traveling through a lot of different bones and and mass to get to your own ears. So it definitely is different. So Embrace your voice. Okay, so as are we? Okay, we're good with the Anton's mic, so I can stop holding this. Uh, but so the other next tip we will look at is um, a lot of people aren't just satisfied with with screen content; they want to do real world stuff. So that's obviously not necessarily an easy uh, proposition. So what tips or advice would you have to kind of bridge the two worlds together? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I started doing that. Um, Pretty much about a year ago, I started to include more real-world video in my screencast. I think it would, uh, my goal is, is it to make effective and interesting and engaging videos. And I think uh, changing things up using different mediums does make it yeah, more engaging, more interesting to the viewers. Um, I'm not a big fan of having the speaker necessarily shown throughout the entire video in the little corner. So I've been experimenting with um, recording myself for the introduction and the ending of the videos. So I have a way to personally greet the people. Hi, welcome to my video. Today I'll be talking about creating handwriting effects in Camtasia Studio. Uh, let's take a look. And then I go and I focus on my screen content. These little video clips at the beginning, they're really easy to create. Oh, not easy to create, but they don't take that long because they're not long themselves. A uh, 20 second clip, maybe three or four tries, and I'm usually happy with it. And then, um, yeah, and this, I usually end my screencast the same way again, where I uh, fade myself in as an outro, and I thank people for watching my video. So thank you for watching my video. Um, and I just think it makes, makes it more interesting and it gives people, um, yeah, beyond my voice, it, gives it makes it a bit more authentic and people can kind of connect and they see who their trainer is. So, so quick yeah. question, are you, are mm -hmm. you scripting your, your camera, real world stuff? I know you script your tutorials and things that you're going to say yeah. on screencasting, but for that 20 second intro, do you bother? Yes. So. I, I think about what I want to say. Then I usually don't read it off a script, but I do it uh, free, freestanding. So that's why it's all, it also takes me like three or four tries because I trip over my own words. Um, but yeah, I do think about what I want to say. I don't just start recording. Perfect. Uh, so one of the other things that I know it's very popular in Camtasia, we have an option that you can remove green screen. Uh, obviously, 
if, if you're going to just try green screen, it's not just an instant, like, pow, that worked perfectly. Yeah. So what, what advice would you give these new screencasters, particularly about getting green screen to work? Don't expect perfect results the first time you try it. But instead, get yourself a green screen. They're pretty cheap. Get yourself some lights and start making some recordings. And really think of them as practice recordings. Things um, I recorded my dog, for example, um, just to get a feel on how the effect works, what settings are important, how the light should really look. Because practice makes perfect. So really, yeah, don't buy the green screen and expect to create a masterpiece the next day. But just experiment, have fun, really try things out. Try to push yourself a little bit with that effect as well to see if you can achieve really interesting and neat effects or think of ways you can uh, use the, the green screen effect on things besides just recordings of people. Absolutely. And I would recommend that if, if you're going to go do green screen, watch some tutorials. Go find some. Search for some. You'll find yeah. some great advice with lights. Because yeah. light is a key thing, and I think a lot of people don't realize that going to, into it, they just think it should work. Yeah. Uh, now, you said something that I thought was really uh, uh, important is that you, this idea of experimentation. Um, I think a lot of people are afraid to try it. They're going to break something. Um, but why, why is it experimentation so important to becoming better? Because it allows you to grow and it allows you to try new things. So what I like to do is I like to watch other tutorials. I watch, generally, I watch movies and I try to look at what they are doing. What kind of transitions are they using? What effects are they using? What looks good? What can I translate over into my screencast? And then I figure out a way to make that happen in Camtasia Studio. So crazy, strange animations. Can I create those in Camtasia Studio? I don't know. Let's try. And through that process, I learned quite a bit. And uh, that some, and all that influence, I can then tie back into my screencast. OK, so the, the burning question as we finish up here, Anton. 10 years ago, I mean, of course, the technology was a lot different in terms of what we could do. But you've come a long way. For anyone that wants to do this, and they, even hmm? if they don't want to be professional, like they don't, I don't yeah. need to do this like my career is only just screencasting, yeah. what is the best piece of advice you can give someone so they, that they do get better? Get feedback. That's really the best piece of advice I can have. Show the video to your peers, and don't just look for high fives, but get critical feedback. Get mean feedback. That's the feedback that lets you really analyze your content and realize how you can really improve it. And take the feedback seriously. Awesome. Well, I want to thank Anton Bowen for coming in and sharing some of his awesome screencast tips. It's a pleasure to have him since we only get him over yeah. in the States once in a while, so usually we'd have to do this via Skype. So if you're watching this, awesome. Thank you very much. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe. We're going to have the button someplace on our YouTube page here, so we would love to be able to talk to you some more. Give it a like. Make sure you're uh, letting us know what you think in the comments below. So thank you very much, everybody from the TechSmith studio. This has been a live taping of The Forge. Feel free to applause if you want. Thank you. Thank you.